Rhonda Fahmi Udom has been a lifelong supporter of America's Republican Party. Udom was born here of a father from Iran and a mother from Egypt. She says she likes the Republicans' conservative positions. I, you know, first am an American more than anything, and I've always been a Republican ever since I was able to participate in politics on campaigns as a youngster, and then when I started to vote, because I believe in the fundamental principles of the Republican Party, which really does boil down to a lot of personal responsibility. Um, if you look at where the Republican Party's leanings are, certainly from a fiscal perspective, quite conservative, let's not rely upon the government. In fact, the government isn't the right place to be executing some of these fiscal policies. There are better places to make those decisions. But the Republican Party has been losing Arab-American support. That's because the rise in anti-Arab and anti-Islamic rhetoric in America since the 9-11 terrorist attacks has come mostly from Republican politicians. I don't think there's any doubt, it certainly is factual, that many of these movements or um, ideas, if you will, that Arab-Americans find abhorrent as uh, basically against American principles are coming from some members of the party. Now, with the individuals you referred to, particularly in the presidential primary, and a Michelle Bachman and a Newt Gingrich and others, who have made some ridiculous statements about Arab and Muslim Americans, have been shot down by people in their own party. Maya Berry, executive director of the Arab American Institute, supports President Obama from the Democratic Party. The great majority of Republicans are the, the traditional party of Lincoln, but you have a very sizable community in the Republican Party that has made uh, an issue out of Arab Americans and American Muslims in a very sort of bigoted way in terms of talking about one's faith and talking about one's uh, political empowerment. And, and that's turned off, I think, a lot of voters, including many that are Arab Americans. And they've set a tone, this sort of Islamophobia that's taking place in some of our uh, political discourse. Um, the great majority of that, there are some Democrats that have engaged in it, but the great majority of that have come from some in the Republican Party. For her part, Rhonda Udom hopes Republican Mitt Romney will win more of the Arab American votes than the polls are suggesting. I think Arab Americans care about domestic policies. I think they are like the rest of America. They care about the economy and who can better promote the economy and pick the economy back up here in shambles in the United States. And I think many will come to the conclusion that that's Mitt Romney. We'll soon find out how Arab Americans and the country as a whole votes. Next Tuesday is America's Election Day. Like the rest of the American population, part of the Arab American community supports the Republican Party, mostly for its conservative economic and social policies. But with a number of leading Republican politicians having taken positions that many consider anti-Arab and anti-Muslim, the Republican Party this year will have a hard time gaining much support from Arab Americans. Burton Bolag, KSA 2, Washington.